David Cameron wants the government to use the money in bank accounts that people have forgotten about and haven't used for a long time. He wants to spend the cash on things like charity projects. And all of this is part of his plans for the big society. Well, Working Lunch viewer Val emailed us asking which accounts the Prime Minister is thinking of raiding. Well, do so-called dormant accounts, she asked, include the ones that haven't been used for a year? Well, banks decide if an account is dormant or lost when it hasn't been used for a long time. And each bank does have its own rule on exactly how how long that period is. And there are estimated to be as many as half a million of these dormant accounts in the UK, and in them, there's estimated to be between 400 and 500 million pounds sitting there. Well, Brian Mayers is from the British Bankers Association. Um, Brian, welcome. Um, why do the these bank accounts or building societies actually even need to declare them? Why don't they just keep the money there and let the interest tick away at a few pennies at a time? Well, the main reason why these accounts actually are lost, if you like, that people lose contact with their money, is because they move house or go elsewhere, leave the country. And um, although banks will continue to send information for a little while to try to determine that the customer is still living there, um, if not, then it becomes a security issue. So what they do is they stop sending posts, they stop sending notifications, they mark the account as dormant, which means effectively that it's ready to reactivate whenever the customer makes contact. And some of the banks as well have proactive agencies, like detective agencies effectively, that try to scour the lists and electoral rolls to try to find these people again. So even though the banks can decide when an account is dormant and put that stamp upon it, that, that doesn't mean the, government's con the government can, is going to be able to take the money whenever it likes? A bank will declare an account dormant between one and three years after the last contact with a customer. As far as the Dormant Bank and Building Society's Account Act is concerned, which is the act that was passed in 2008 to enable all of this, that means uh, 15 years is the cutoff. So any accounts that have been left dormant for 15 years or more are eligible to be taken by the government and used in this reclaim fund. Okay, say you do, say this sparks some view, one of our viewers thinking, ah, I do have an account somewhere and I haven't used it for X many years. Is it possible for them to wake up this dormant account quite easily? Absolutely. Well, if you remember where the bank is, what the bank is, then that's the easiest thing. Just go into the branch, fill in a form, and they'll reactivate it for you. If you're not sure, or if the bank has changed name or changed hands, been bought over, the brand doesn't e exist on the high street anymore, then the best thing to do is to contact us at the British Bankers Association or to go to our website. Um, ourselves, the Building Societies Association and National Savings and Investments created the My Lost Account website, online forms. You simply fill in as much information as you can and we do the rest for you. Just briefly, how long does it take to get your money back if you have? Maximum three months. Okay, right. Thank you very, very much for that. Thank, Thank you. you.